Hi, I'm Chris Cawthon, head golf professional at West Haven Golf Club. And many of our students have the same or similar swing faults that we see most every day. And that is a problem controlling the club face as well as controlling lead arm stability. So I'm gonna show you a quick drill that you can practice with very little space in your office, at home, or pre-shot while you're out on the golf course to help you get better at stabilizing your lead arm and controlling the club face. So what I want you to do is to grab a club of your choice. I've chosen a seven iron. I'm gonna grip the club about five or six inches above the hosel, take my normal grip. I'm gonna set up in my normal stance. Normal posture, you'll notice that the shaft is to the left of my lead hip, which in my case is my left hip being a right-handed golfer. I'm gonna take my normal grip. I'm gonna swing the club back in my backswing, and you'll notice that the grip is in a down position and the shaft is at an angle. So this is important as I turn this way, as you'll see, the shaft is angled here, is perpendicular to my spine. As I swing the club down, as soon as the club gets below my belt line or my waist, the club should be fairly parallel to my target line. When I get to impact, you'll notice that my hips are turning, the club face is fairly square, as I turn back to the camera at this point, you'll notice that the shaft is still left of my lead hip. As I continue through impact, you'll notice the shaft stays to the left of my lead hip, club is in front, and then this is the key move. So the next move from here is you'll notice that the grip is going to rotate in a downward position and it's gonna look very similar to the same position it was in my backswing. This is gonna help you be a lot more consistent with your club face and control that left arm stability. It's gonna look something like this. So use this quick drill, small space, you don't need a lot of room, and I hope this helps you become a better golfer.